Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 14th, 2023. Almost halfway through the year here, and boy, the bulls are on fire here, running hard. CPI data yesterday got them inspired to move on higher on that little bit of a decline in that cpi so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the wednesday edition of the morning market prep video good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here today i truly truly appreciate it let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today well yesterday here in the diamonds we are now up one two three four five six days in a row can we pull off a seventh day um, as you notice we pushed right up here yesterday and we tagged that resistance almost to the penny and then we found a little bit of selling in here a little bit challenged on the day volume was good overall on the day but we struggled against that resistance and now the question is today will the data push us through this level can we find inspiration to push us through or will we pull back from that significant resistance level in the chart let's take a look here if those bulls were to find inspiration i would look for a retest of this up here to see if we can power on through and pop through that area and if we do then i'm going to be looking for it that we've got a little tiny resistance area right here that could be the next little level that we'll have to deal with in the chart so keep an eye on that if the bears find inspiration today well maybe a pull back into some price support little price support right in there that we could pull back to if that fails however then we have a pretty significant pullback maybe in mind that could push us back down into here. Now, if we do push back down into that level, I want you to notice here in the chart that doesn't really hurt anything. It probably would be a healthy thing as a matter of fact, because it would pull back and retest these moving average supports in here in the chart. And if we can hold in that area, we should be golden here for an upside move. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, very, very extended here in the short term. We're really stretched up and we continue to press to new highs. So breaking through those resistance, like I said on Monday, there is an awful lot of talk and it's, uh, it's almost like the talking heads are preaching. Uh, 4,400 to 4,500 is going to be the top in the SPY, and they are pumping that hard. And as you can see, we're pushing toward that um, in the market. Now, if you look right up in here, we've got a little tiny bit of price resistance right there. You can see that little tiny price resistance that we struggled against yesterday and trying to push back up, but we ended up doing a really good job by the end of the day recovering pushing right back up and you can see the SPY is wanting to gap up a little bit here this morning so where's that next resistance level well that next resistance level is probably going to be maybe somewhere right in there we've got a little tiny bit of resistance right through that area to be paying attention to in the chart and that happens to be getting very very near to that 4400 level in the spy if the bears find inspiration for today well i would look for a pullback a retest of this support and honestly as we stretch away from this trend i think that's really uh, would be a healthy thing for the market to do but the market is in this buy mode it's it's really exuberant right now and that means we can stretch prices very very far here sometimes uh, which sets up, you know, um, pretty nasty pullbacks at times as well. Now, keep in mind, if we don't hold that, if the bears do engage and we don't hold that support, well, the only next place we can go is probably right back down and test that support level in the chart. Um, again, technically speaking, that would be no harm at all to the technicals of the chart. This chart would remain bullish. If we take a look at our IW, or excuse me, our QQQ, 
the most overextended um, chart in the indexes and um, it's being led by seven techs if you saw i think it was from wells fargo suggesting that boy if it weren't for those seven techs we wouldn't be looking like this in the nasdaq can those techs continue to drive everything in the market well we'll find out here eventually um one two three four i'm maybe looking at a fi fifth day straight up here in the chart and we are testing a resistance level up here if you look right across here we got some price resistance in that chart and somewhere between these two areas here i would watch those carefully as that next resistance level in the chart if the bears find inspiration today then uh, well the only support level we have right now is right back down here um, and that wouldn't hurt anything at all in the chart um, this would still be a very very bullish chart if we did pull back so keep in mind it might raise a little bit of panic but would still be very very bullish and you'll notice um, if we were to break that support level then we would come down into this support level here in the chart let's take a look at iwm IWM continued to surge higher yesterday, even as the other indexes were getting a little bit of a pullback, continued to push up. You can see it kind of finished the day with a little bit of a wake up there on that little bit of uncertainty as it approached this big resistance level in the IWM. Now, keeping in mind, this trend that we're on right here is pretty darn parabolic. So can we push through this level up here? Yes, absolutely. We could push through that resistance level up there if the bulls find inspiration, but we will wanna keep in mind at some point in time, this is going to need to rest. Um, we don't necessarily, as a normal basis, maintain vertical trends like that forever. So just kind of be prepared for that possibility. If the bulls can break through that resistance right in here, then I would look for that next level right up in there as a test on the IWM. If the bulls, or excuse me, if the bears were to be inspired today, then I would look for us to stay stuck underneath this level in here, maybe resting, consolidating, pulling back, that kind of thing. If we do pull back, this would be our next support. And then the support following that would be right in here. So keep a close eye on IWM. Our VIX, interestingly enough, our VIX, as we rallied yesterday, really didn't pull back much. We um, pushed up on that bullish day on uh, Monday, and as we pushed up yesterday, well, we did get a little tiny bit of a pullback here after that CPI, but really not uh, kind of interesting that we are pressing to the upside, but we're seeing a little bit of fear here in the market perking up. So if those bulls continue to press and push to the upside, well, then let's look for a retest down in here. We could press down into this area showing that. Now, again, these low prints in the VIX are starting to show complacency in the market. What we may be seeing is a little bit of an institutional rotation as retail is now piling into the market and they've got everyone convinced the market cannot go down piling in what we might actually be seeing here is a little bit well, the reason that's perking up we might actually be seeing the institutions being the net sellers to the retailers so watch carefully there and if those bears were to find inspiration here today then look for a test of this resistance up in here uh, breaking through that resistance would likely create a um, little bit of angst here in the market and then we would seek out this next level in the chart if we take a look at our t2122 now our t2122 continues to be extremely overbought we almost buried this up, up near 100 yesterday on this press to the upside so if we have really good data don't be surprised we could spike higher but i would question whether or not it can hold uh, we are reaching a very frothy um, um, point here in the market where we are extremely overbought um, in the short term and you can see even if we get bullish data today to inspire the bulls well just notice in here we don't have far to go and by the way um, T2122 never 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 goes over 100 it stays 
um, at 100 or less, it can't do anything else. So kind of keep that in mind as we press up here. We're really at that point where we need to be thinking about um, adjusting those stop losses higher, looking for exit uh, places if the market does reverse and pull back and remember there is that whole thing out there of buy the rumor sell the news buy the rumor that the fed will pause if the fed does pause that could create the sell um, sell the news event yep we got what we wanted but he's still saying we're going to be hawkish and looking forward into that next meeting of uncertainty whether we'll raise again or not if that were to occur you could see how buying the rumor pushed us up into this move and then selling that news could actually bring in a little bit of bearishness. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I think the possibility exists. So make sure you have some um, stop losses in place. Make sure you have some um, um, decisions made on where you're going to exit trades if we do happen to reverse. And just keep in mind that reversal could be pretty quick, pretty fast and very difficult um, uh, to trade because we tend to move in such big moves around FOMC movement or statements and meeting days. Now, downside. Oh my goodness, we've got a big downside set up here. Um, if the bears were to find any kind of reason for downside, you could see how that could cascade on us a little bit as everybody exits really quickly to protect profits, how quickly we can move to the downside. That doesn't mean we break trends. It doesn't mean we fall all apart. It just means that we're set up for a potential pullback at any time. Could, might not begin today, could be tomorrow, could be Friday, could be next week. Don't know when it's going to happen, but it will occur. Trust me on that. If we take a look at our T2108, our T2108 continuing to extend up again, looking really, really good here, holding into those support levels and we're pushing into some resistance levels in the chart. If you remember yesterday, I said T2108, percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average, starts to enter a little bit of a frothy place where we're overextended, a little over exuberant when we start reaching somewhere between the 60 and 75 um, areas in the chart. We're starting to reach up a little bit too much of a stretch. Now that doesn't mean today is the day that we turn around. We still have room here to the upside, but just keep that in mind. We're reaching up there pretty hard in a straight up move. And that means that if it starts to turn over, it could move pretty quickly to the downside. If we take a look at our T2107, same thing is true here. We're stretching up now. It's different here in T2107 um, um, because this picks up a lot. Percentage of stocks above their 200-day moving average. This picks up a lot of the um, those small cap um, and, um, numbers in here because there's, it, it, it's weighing um, all those stocks in there. And um, we start to get a little bit frothy in T2107, somewhere between that 50 and 65 range here in the chart. So pushing up into that area, we're not, really not in any danger here. We are testing some resistance in the chart, but just keep in mind as we continue to stretch that we're reaching kind of, uh, you know, everybody's in kind of thing. All the money that's gonna be in is in for the short period of time, and then we start to see some profit taking. Our uh, T2101, hooking a little bit lower here again we're showing that momentum starting to soften maybe just a little bit that upside momentum we had that little bit of back and forth in it yesterday a little bit of uncertainty while the bulls continued to press and press and press so watch that carefully this might be giving us that hint that we're getting closer and closer and closer to that potential rest consolidation or pullback in the market let's take a look at our economic calendar for today our economic calendar is showing us, well, a busy one. Um, we've got uh, mortgage um, applications out here this morning. Actually, we could check that report here real quick if uh, the website's going to work. Looks like they came in strong. Look at this from a negative 1.4, um, a big increase um in uh, mortgage demand here so that's bullish for the market this morning keep an eye on that we've got ppi final demand the ppi is expected to decrease like the cpi did so watch that that could also be bullish inspiration for today 
Atlanta Fed business activity expectations or inflation expectations, I would kind of not worry about that one at all. Um, uh, then we're going to have the petroleum status. That could be interesting with the fluctuations that we've been seeing in the um, oil prices here. That could be interesting if we come in with a um, drop in supplies then we could see um, yesterday's nice move to the upside uh, maybe get a follow through on that so watch that closely it's a big if um, watch that carefully then comes the big one of the day we've got the fomc here at 2 p.m after that we've got the fed meeting now i think the market is priced for and largely expects that the fed will pause and what I mean price for, their heavy anticipation here in the market. Boy, there's just not a talking head out there that's not preaching, preaching, preaching that the Fed is done, the Fed is done, the Fed is done. Well, that may be the case. We may get, and Jerome Powell is not known for surprising the market all that much. I would highly suspect we will get a pause. But that doesn't mean when he comes down here to his presser, that he doesn't talk hawkishly saying, we're gonna wait, we're gonna see on the data, there's a possibility we could continue to raise rates and then the market gets a little bit uncertain. So watch carefully for that. Now, if he does happen to surprise, I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna say the odds of that are pretty, pretty low, but if he does happen to surprise and they raise the rates by 25 basis points, just kind of expect that will unleash the bears and they could really have a field day with that because we are so heavily um, priced up in the anticipation of a rate pause. Now let's take a look as we go into Friday or Thursday. Well, by golly, we're going to have a big day on Friday, uh, Thursday with jobless claims, Philly Fed, retail sales, Empire State. So we've got a lot of data here that can move us substantially, either bullishly or bearishly. It all depends on what you think might occur, but just be prepared. Thursday is going to be a whopper of an economic um, event day that could inspire quite a little bit of movement. So as soon as we get through this, everybody's going to be focused right over here on what happens on Thursday. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up uh, for today. But before we do that, guys, um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, that would be click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Again, I am always, I am tremendously humbled by the support that this channel has received um, without hype, without prediction. Um, this has been very helpful to me for uh, my more than 20 year career full-time as a trader in just pre prepping for the day, putting my mind in the right place. So thank you so much for everyone who's supporting this effort. I do appreciate it. And just a huge shout out to those who support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. I do truly, truly appreciate that as well. Let's take a peek here at what we've got going on um, in some of these stocks. Now, I didn't mention the earnings calendar and the, and the reason is there's only one earnings event today uh, to be um, considering and that would be Lennar. It's really the only notable for today. And keep an eye on that Lennar as pricing, you know, um, near all time highs. Um, as you can see, we're pushing up here really, really strong here in Lennar. So watch that carefully big anticipation into that earnings event today as we rally, 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 pushing into earnings. Let's take a look at the stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're gonna have to do your own due diligence, be very, very careful and not over trade this market with so much data coming our way. 
um, follow your rules, your guidelines, make sure it, every trade fits your personal risk tolerance. You should never ever blindly follow my ideas or anyone else's ideas if it doesn't fit your rules or guidelines. So let's take a look at DKNG. Nice little chart. I've been mentioning this for a while that we're holding this support in here, trying to hang in and you can see the last three, day, three days, trying to make a move to see if we can break that last resistance. Notice we've got three wicks sticking up here that um, providing that little bit of resistance and yesterday um, we attempted to push up there in the pre-market we're pushing up and pulling back so watch that carefully dkng but one thing we can say for sure online gambling is hot right now and everyone wants um, uh, apparently to to gamble so watch that carefully because this is um, looking very good here at the moment, DKNG. You might also wanna take a look at some of these stocks over here in the energy industry. Um, energy um, had an interesting day yesterday. We popped up hard here on Valero. If you remember, I was talking about that possibility there of Valero off of this double bottom. Popped up there yesterday and then pulled back, but we're seeing um, energy prices holding in there pretty stubbornly strong. So what I wanna see here, honestly, before it is a buy for me, I wanna see us break this um, resistance level, hold this as a higher low, and then I have an upside trend that I can work with and I would be looking for some long buys in there. And you can see this on um, uh, other refiners as well, Schlumberger, moving up here in the market, breaking through some resistance levels, working to hold, showing that bullishness. Any consolidation rest or pullback in here that kind of holds onto this trend, I think sets up that possible opportunity. Halliburton doing the same, trying to push up in here. Now, if you look at um, some of the oil stocks out there, take a look at like uh, ConocoPhillips. ConocoPhillips trying to perk up here. It's been working on this bottom and notice we just have this little slight tiny um, rally going on here in ConocoPhillips. If we can break through and hold in this area, notice how this consolidating move is going on in here. Continue that rest. I would look for that next opportunity for that upside move possibly in Conoco. And there are um, a bunch of others out there looking very, very similar. Occidental holding in here, trying to find some support. If we can get that going in here, we might see some more upside in oil. Now, something that's going to help us a lot on that potential upside for oil would be um, the dollar continuing to weaken. If the dollar continues to weaken, and one reason that the dollar could weaken is that other countries are still raising rates. Other countries are behind us in the inflation fight. And if they continue to raise rates and the U.S. stops raising rates, that weakens the dollar. So watch that carefully here. We're starting to see a little bit of that downside move. If the Fed pauses and says we're not going to raise and we continue to see Europe and other countries raise their rates, then I would look for the U.S. dollar to decline. And that should help those commodities over here in the energy sector. Watch that closely. You might also want to keep an eye on wheat here. There's been an awful lot of wrangling going on over there in between Russia and Ukraine about allowing the exports of wheat and grain out of the Ukraine. It's largely um, expected now that Putin is going to violate his agreement there and stop allowing those exports of grain out of the Ukraine. So watch that carefully. If the dollar falls and we have that um, situation where suddenly this big amount of grain is no longer available um, for the supply chain, then I would be watching right in here for wheat for that opportunity that that could start moving to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. Another place would be in uh, the precious metals area. Gold tried to make a move here yesterday morning, ended up pulling back as that dollar rallied again at the end of the day. Uh, we had our bond yields going up at the end of the day. They are softening a bit this morning, but watch that carefully. If we hold this support here and can push back through that resistance, we're gonna be good. A weakening dollar could help that occur. 
If we start breaking down through this area here, I would be watching for a potential short because you can see if we fall through this support here, the next area down is right into this area. So this could go either direction. Keep a close eye on a GLD. Um, let's take a look at AMD this morning. AMD announcing that uh, that they have a AI chip. That's the AI is the new Bitcoin out there. All the hype and all the, oh my gosh, there's so much hype. Um, because we don't know anything yet. And we've got our senators going into a three day um, exploratory thing on how they're going to regulate it. So here, I mean, we're celebrating AI like crazy and we still don't know anything um, about it. Um, honestly on what's going to happen here so just kind of keep in mind AMD looking um, like it wants to perk back up on the announcement of their chip here today so with that guys I'm running out of time we're 25 minutes into this video I want to wish you all the uh, very best of today wish you great productivity great profits and I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning wish you all of the best